Hi, it's your share Veronica. There are some people in this life that they give their all. There are some people in this life that would say that the world is good, that the world and the people in it, they're great. And then they reach a stage where they have to call on the world and the world would turn its back on them. The world will turn its back on you. And you wonder, and a lot of these people are religiously banked. And they will say, my God, what have I done? Jesus, my Savior, what have I done? How have I not served you? I've given to the church. I've helped out neighbors. I've been good to my family. I've been a good person. Where have I gone wrong? And they cry out. And they, at some point, within that crying out, they almost start to get a glimpse that they may not be that God. They may not be that person up in heaven looking down and protecting them with angelic beings. They, at some point, when the world turns its back on them, they begin to realize that they were actually on their own. It was a personal walk on this earth and you were supposed to discover a few gems. You were supposed to discover yourself. You were supposed to look after yourself. Everyone is responsible for themselves. And at that point, at the point where you have given everything to everyone and you have nothing left for yourself and you and you feel as though that window to heaven or the door to heaven is closed off to you. You you give up the ghost. Some people live out until they die. You know, they, they, they're just walking dead. And some people decide, hey, I am going to be the master of myself. And I just do not want to stay here one minute longer than I should. Now, I said this for Carol Aline. I'm hearing more and more and more about her in my blog. And I'm not saying that what I'm hearing is correct. I'm not about what is right and what is wrong. I'm not, I'm not going there with this. All I'm saying is when you reach a certain age, you have to put away childish things and you have to come to terms with the fact that you are on the earth and the earth just may be hell and in a hell of a situation you are on your own and you have to take good care of yourself you have to take good care of yourself and try to try to restrain from bringing others into the hell that you found yourself in. I know they said that misery lights company, but you have to try to refrain from that urge. And that they say is a proclivity. They say it's a natural thing, but you have to, you have to become really and truly the master of yourself. And you have to rewire your brain and all the indoctrination that is in there. And you have to come to that very serious and it's a clear conclusion that you're not going to perpetrate you're not going to you're not going to bring others into the hell that you found yourself in and this is in reverence to carol allen and this is in i guess it's it's just, uh, I feel sad today, <laughs> but it's just, it's just something that if, if there's any semblance of her, if there's any spiritual realm, and if there's any, if there's anything, if there's anything after death, 
I just want to say this in reverence and in honor of Cheryl, of Carol, Carol, Aline. You sure, Veronica?